now ex-Surrey Police Constable has been found to have committed gross misconduct at a hearing last week after he was found to have left a vulnerable person at a train station late on a cold night simply because he would have been a pain in the arse back at the station. Former PC James Brown, not that one, this one, decided to take the person who was anonymised and given the name Witness A to the Fleet train station on January 21st, 2021, rather than back to the Nick because he thought Witness A would be a pain in the arse. Police were originally called to an incident where Witness A was said to have been being aggressive towards staff at a Surrey event space and was accused of spitting and using racist language. Former PC James Brown was one of the first on the scene and was also allegedly the most experienced copper at the scene. The hearing was told that there were warning markers on Witness A's police information indicating that they were vulnerable and that police would have been aware of this fact. Witness A was initially arrested for breach of the peace, but he decided to take Witness A to Fleet Train Station instead, knowing it would be closed and that it was late on a very cold night. PC Brown had been a cop since 2010 but resigned before his misconduct hearing. He didn't even bother to turn up for the hearing, so it was held in his absence. Witness A was not arrested for any further offences on the day, despite allegations that they continued shouting, swearing and using racist language as he was being removed from the scene, which the panel heard was a missed opportunity to deal with other offences, if of course he did commit those other offences. Despite being aware of various factors which were flagged in relation to Witness A's vulnerabilities, the panel heard that the former officer left him at Fleet Train Station thinking he would either get a taxi from there or simply get his head down. But after being left at the station, Witness A made a call to police and to say that he had been dumped in Fleet and told to make his own way home. He then went on foot to a nearby petrol station and caused criminal damage to pumps before being arrested by Hampshire Police just before 1am on January 22nd. Jack Horlock, on behalf of Surrey Police, said there was a potential given Witness A's known vulnerabilities, for this to have been a lot, lot worse. He said the ex-officer made a sole decision to leave Witness A in a strange location with very little information, if any, about where he would go or if he could go anywhere at all. It was late that night, it was cold that night, he told the panel. In making the decision, he said he didn't want to take him into custody because he would be a pain in the backside and would just be released or refused by the custody sergeant. There cannot be any doubt that Witness A was being difficult, but dealing with difficult members of the public is something police officers are trained to deal with and to deal with appropriately. It is a very important part of their duties. Police Forces Professional Standards Department Temporary Superintendent Steve Scholton said in a statement released after the hearing that the former PC's behaviour not only breached the standards of professional behaviour but was also in contradiction of the Police Code of Ethics. Not that there's any copper out there that gives a shit about the police code of ethics. He said it undermined what the force stood for in Surrey and added, there is no place in Surrey force or policing nationally for anyone who shows a complete lack of regard for someone's vulnerabilities in this way. The panel agreed that, taking into account former PC Brown's culpability together with the actual and potential harm cause and effects that this behaviour would have on public confidence, his cumulative conduct amounted to gross misconduct and if he had still been serving, he would have been dismissed without notice. Former PC James Brown was said to have had a good service record from 20 years service, and this was allegedly his first ever conduct incident, which begs the question why he resigned. He is said to have stopped engaging with Surrey Police Federation, whose aim it is to get cops off when they do something wrong, coupled with the fact he didn't turn up to his hearing. I'm asking myself why after 20 years and never having a conduct issue, he would simply drop out that way. Who knows, maybe he's got some other skeletons in the closet, maybe. Maybe he has some mental health issues, although I'm surprised no one mentioned he was going through a hard time at home or suffering PTSD, like they all seem to do. Anyway, if you can't be asked to do your job, then you shouldn't be a cop. So if you're a cop and you're watching this, do your fucking job properly. <laughs>